Hey, welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials with Creative Vinyl Designs. Today we're going to attempt a cheap method serape, if I'm saying that correctly, with this water slide that I've already sealed. Um, I sealed this with clear Rust-Oleum and Plasti Dip several times and we're going to place it around this 30 ounce modern curve which I purchased from Marshall Made Tumblers and More. And as you can see, we're a little short, but we're gonna make this work. So I'm gonna put that on the top half, and then I'm gonna put uh, Mermaid Magic from the Glitter Sisters down here at the bottom using Loctite. Then I'm going to epoxy the entire thing. Well, I said Loctite, but I have Gorilla Glue sitting right here. And then I'm going to epoxy the whole thing, and we'll come back tomorrow when it's sealed and cured, and then I'm gonna put Yep, the cheetah print down here at the bottom. It's going to look amazing. So the key to success to this entire thing is to make sure that we line up with this, these stripes at the back. Okay, if we are wonky, it's going to appear wonky. So I'm gonna do my best to make these lines add up. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start with the water slide. Like I've already said, I've sealed it several times with the clear Rust-Oleum as well as my Plasti Dip to allow for the stretch. Then we're gonna apply it to the top of this cup. And then we'll get to the fun part. Okay, so if I think this is ready and it's gonna pull right off, we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, I think we're ready. So I'm just gonna kinda manipulate it off the paper. Might need just a second, just a second more. <laughs> Excuse me, for the most part, this is totally ready. It's just the center because it's such a long piece. Okay, so wish me luck because I gotta get this all over this tumbler just at the top. The bottom here doesn't matter because we only want the top in this particular case because the rest of this is gonna be glitter, so it's not gonna matter. So the most important thing now is just to make sure that I make sure all my lines match. I love a challenge and this was certainly one of them. So right now, I'm just more concerned about stretching this out to make sure I can get it all the way around the front. We can worry about the matching up when we get to that side.
All right, so I'm very well, very well overlapped at this point. So it's very important that our lines match up as close as we can get them. Okay, so it's a little hazy at the bottom. But guys, I'm not going to freak out about that because we're going to add the glitter. We just want it as absolutely close as we can right here. Okay. So you can see where it's dark. That's where we're going to slice down the center. Okay. So while I continue to babysit this and I make sure that everything stays where it needs to be, um, I will come back when it's ready for the next step. Okay, guys, now we're back and we're going to go ahead and trim down this backside very, 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 very carefully. As you may have seen in the past with my tutorials, I'm just ever so carefully going to line it up. Usually I tape it, but this is very short. So I'm hoping that I don't under trim this. Okay. Oh, I'm hoping that it cut for me. All right, so just pull that bottom out. And I still have my water so I can push my ends back together. And this is where I'm gonna line them up. just by very, very, very carefully pushing the two ends together. It might take you a second to kind of tweak them together, but just please take your time, guys. You're dealing with lines and it's gonna be obvious if you're off, even the slightest bit. So it's still a little wet, so it's still slipping. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit, making sure my seam stays intact. And then I'll come back and we'll spray it with the Gorilla Spray adhesive. And then we're going to put our glitter on. Okay, so before this dried, I was going to do the Gorilla Glue adhesive spray, but then I changed my mind because I'm going to use Magic, or Mermaid Magic, 
by the Glitter Sisters Holographic. So what I decided to do was do the Tacket method on this. So I've already got my mix made and we're just gonna jump right in and we are just gonna add our Tacket. I'll come back and I'll clean up those sharp lines. So now I think we have a solid coverage. I'm gonna put this in front of the fan. And when I think it's dry to where I can apply the epoxy, or not the epoxy, the glitter, I'll be right back. And I'll show you that next step. Okay, here we go. So now we're just gonna epoxy this. And I have a couple of blemishes and it's up high, but I am not at all concerned about this or any blemishes because we're gonna cover this up with the leopard print, which I stated earlier was cheetah, but it's in fact leopard. So we're gonna go ahead and epoxy this. And then when this is cured, we're going to be able to decal it. I absolutely love how this looks thus far. So I'm just gonna hit this with a heat gun. I lied, the heat torch. Damn, I keep, I always mess that up. I'm just gonna hit it with the heat torch just real quick, just to pop any bubbles. And I'm gonna let this ride out all night. My seam is almost perfect. Almost. Nobody's perfect. We're all human, but it's really close. Okay, so I will see you guys back in the morning after this is dried all night, and we will progress with the decals. Hey guys, and we're back. We're ready to wrap this tumbler up with the Serape design. I want to say as I started editing the beginning half of this this morning, I noticed that somewhere along the way I lost my holographic tacket method. And the clip is completely gone of where I actually applied the holographic. So I am extremely sorry that that is gone i don't know if i lost internet and i didn't realize it and i was just going um, but unfortunately that whole bit is missing so i apologize for that um so we're back now to go ahead and add on the rest of the decals which you can see i've already gotten started i was get, i was anxious to get going so um let's see so let's go ahead and get going on these and we're just going to place them pretty much wherever at this point, just to kind of go up against this one here. And we're just gonna place them on sporadically. I'm sorry if you hear any loud traffic this afternoon. It's just so incredibly beautiful today here in Florida that I got my garage door open. So I definitely want a little bit of that beautiful fresh sun going on out there. There we go. This is going to be so cool. Look at that. 
Not going to take much. We're just going to place these all over. All right, guys, check it out. Very, 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 very happy with this. Absolutely very, very happy with this. So I like kind of placing these um, the way that I am because then I feel like I, I, you know, I have control. I don't know how anyone else does it, but you know, again, it's leopard. It doesn't have to be perfect and you can just go like that and go however you want I might well that's attached but I can probably slice that if I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that but overall I am extremely extremely happy I'm gonna touch up the bottom ever so quickly and get a couple of little spots in there Okay, I think that'll do it for the bottom, honestly. So I am extremely pleased with how this looks. And I'll make sure these are all nice and down, nice and tight before I add the epoxy. Let's see if I can get this. Make sure you guys can see this really well. So this is my take on the Serapi technique on a water slide and the leopard print design over holographic. Now, before I wrap this up, I do want to show you, I've never shown you guys this before, but I'd like to show you how I just clean up. This is the first coat of epoxy. So normally I don't do it until the second coat, but that's a personal preference because obviously if you wait multiple coats, it is a little bit more difficult just to trim that up. And that's how I do 
the edging. This will need to be tightened up, but other than that, you just scrape along ever so gently without cutting yourself. Be really careful. This will obviously need to be done again, but I'm going to go ahead and do that on after I get another coat of um, epoxy on it. So that's how I trim up my edges. I thank you guys so much for tuning in on my 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 take on the Serapi method. So until I see you again next time, thank you so much for tuning in.